Coming to the question number 146. Meiotic division of the secondary oocyte is complete. Actually, this question is taken from the chapter uh, human, human reproduction. reproduction. Human reproduction. Uh, under this chapter, we had seen that oogenesis. Oogenesis involved three phases are there. First one, multiplication. Second one, growth phase. And third one is maturation phase. Under maturation phase, the second one, the second meiotic division, as it is mentioned here, meiotic division of secondary oocyte. Secondary oocyte undergo meiotic division which is completed at, at the time of fusion of a sperm with an ovum. We know that, that it's an incomplete stage. Yeah, after uh, there is, uh, after uh, that uh, Ov uh, ovulation, ovulation, release of the ovulation. Ovum. Okay, then when a sperm is entered into this uh, secondary ovum. It is attached to the zona pellucida, it undergo the uh, second, second, second meiotic division. Yeah. And they produce a small, small uh, polar bone. So it is not, uh, not explained as a part of the oogenesis. It yeah. is explained at the part of fertilization, fertilization. under page number 52. 52. Yeah. Page number so 52. the answer is at the time of fusion of sperm with an ovum. Coming to the next question. That is... Sir, it is a commander, uh, I think that, uh, that... That is coming from biomolecule. Biomolecule. Bio -molecule. Bio -molecule. And yeah. a secondary metabolite such, such as nicotine, nicotine uh, strychnine, that is from uh, strychnos, nax vomica, the plant, nicotine from tobacco, uh, nicotine or tobacco, and caffeine from uh, coffea arabica are produced by the plant for their defense action. It's the directly question and it is from the page number 146 that is explaining about secondary metabolites in the chapter biomolecule and the page number 146. And 148 question, I think it is coming from uh, animal, animal kingdom. kingdom. Animal kingdom. Yes. Coming under the animal kingdom, the question is which of the following statements are true for the phylum chordata? Yeah. Okay, phylum chordata. First one in eurochordata, not a cord extend from head to tail and it is present throughout their life. It is entirely wrong because eurochordata, not a cord extends from all, that is not a cord extend only in or you can see not a cord only at the larval tail. Okay, it is not extend from head to tail. Tail only. Yeah, tail only. If it is from head to tail, it is denoted as yeah. cephalochordata. Cephalochordata. Yeah. Here in vertebrata, notochord is present during the embryonic period only. It's right. It's because, right. Uh, so B in, is right. Uh, B is right. So uh, 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 so A is wrong. A is wrong. So, so the answer can, we can see. Uh, yeah. So A is wrong. Not true. Uh, it is true. So uh, second option and the third option no need to discuss. Yeah. So the right and answer is B and C. B and C. So yeah. the fourth one. Fourth one fourth is the right fourth answer. answer. Fourth one is the right answer. So fourth one is the right answer B and C. Okay. So next question again from biotechnology uh, second chapter. Biotechnology its application. And the BT cotton variety was developed by the introduction of toxin gene of Bacillus thuringiensis is resistant to um, it is resistant to the insect pest, bollworm, uh, cotton bollworm. There are three types of uh, cry proteins are inserted. Cry protein or crystal proteins are active only in the alkaline medium. So the it is the answer is uh, insect pest. Insect pest. It's the right answer. First right. one is the right answer. 150. Question number 150. 150 is from mineral nutrition. Mineral nutrition. There will be some doubt into the students. So uh, we will discuss the question. The product of reaction catalyzed by nitrogenase in the root nodule of legume plant. That is uh, are ammonia alone, nitrate alone, ammonia and oxygen and ammonia and hydrogen. In the uh, page number 202, 202, 202 yeah. there is explaining the nitrogenase enzyme with the nitrogen, triple bond nitrogen and uh, they produce only ammonia. But in the next page, 203, where the balanced equation is given that is N2 plus 8 electron plus 8 proton plus 16 ATP produces Two ammonia and hydrogen and 16 ADP plus 16 uh, inorganic phosphate. So that is explained. So the answer is ammonia with the hydrogen. Ammonia and hydrogen. Uh, one molecule of hydrogen is also released because eight molecules of protons are used. Eight molecules of hydrogens are used. So that produces only six uh, uh, molecule. Utilize six molecule of uh, ammonia uh, hydrogen in the ammonia molecule. Two molecule of ammonia. So one molecule of hydrogen will be. Release. So the answer is Four ammonia one. and uh, hydrogen. It's the right answer. Coming to the next question. 151. This, yeah, 151. This question is asked from the chapter chemical coordination and integration. It's all around that chapter. Yeah. Okay. All Pituitary around. Different, gland. Different, yeah, glands, yeah, are different glands are there. Pituitary gland. Okay. It gave a uh, disease named as Addison's. Addison's. Yeah. A3. A3. 
sorry sir diabetes mellitus uh, uh, pituitary gland diabetes insipidus diabetes right insipidus diabetes insipidus is right yeah. answer a3 a3 then thyroid a3 how many options uh, two one, options uh, i think uh, one and two two is one and two yeah. one and two so these are uh, these two so you can exclude these, these two. two okay we can see two and three from which is the right answer thyroid gland okay thyroid gland uh, here at uh, uh, graves disease graves a exophthalmic one. goiter a1 so a1 a1 b so the answer uh, a, a, so, sorry b1 b1, b1. b1. b1 means so this one so answer so answer, answer three is the right answer okay. three is the right answer. three is the right answer 151 151 complete next one yeah, 152 152 okay 152 uh, which of the which one of the following is the most abundant protein in the animals that, that we, we already have, uh, we have discussed, discussed, discussed the answer is, is collagen. collagen right collagen. answer is collagen. collagen okay right answer is collagen next one an next question uh, identify the correct statement uh, 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 that is from cell cycle and cell division yeah. cell cycle page number 163 of the cell cycle and that is Uh, explaining the G1 phase or GAP1 phase. GAP1 phase is the interval between mitotic phase and uh, initiation of DNA replication. So it is clearly explained that is DNA replication uh, taken place. It is wrong. And uh, re reorganization of cell component taken place. Cells are metabolically active but does not replicate DNA. It is uh, the correct one. It is the correct one. The cells are metabolically active, grows, but do not replicate the DNA. When the replication taken place, it is the beginning of a space. It uh, prepare the all the metabolic products for the DNA replication. So G one phase is related to third one. That is uh, that is uh, cell, cell is, is metabolically, metabolically active. active, grows, but does not replicate. Does not replicate. Oh. Next question. Next question. One fifty four. That is related to ecosystem. Ecosystem match the trophic level with the correct species. The examples in the grassland. That is the page number two forty six. There is the tabular column explaining about different trophic level and fourth trophic level. Fourth trophic level. Um, that is with uh, uh, vulture. 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 That is the topmost uh, carnivore. So A two. How many option with the A two? How many option with A two? Only one option. One option. One option. That is the first answer. Is the correct answer. Yeah. Or you can take uh, first trophic level. Always first trophic level is uh, occupied by producer or grasses. First trophic level A uh, um, C four. C four. C four. How many? C four. Only one. one. So, so uh, right you can directly. So right answer is first one. First one. Yes. And uh, next question is from morphology of flowering plant. Again, it is related to the position of ovary. Uh, the page number seventy three. There is hypogynous, epigynous, perigynous flower. Is uh, picture is there below the paragraph. The half inferior or perigynous flower. Perigynous flower is with the three examples. That is P P R, plum, peach, and rose. And here the answer is plum, must uh, brinjal uh, and mustard with the hypogynous flower or the superior ovary and uh, sunflower. Rare flowers of sunflower is with the uh, inferior ovary or epigynous flower and plum is with the Half inferior. That is uh, perigynous. And one fifty six, one fifty six. The section from the sexual reproduction flowering plant and the page number twenty five. There is the uh, different diagrams related to the gynoecium or the pistil and also ovule diagram. And below that there is a paragraph and explain that the body of ovule is fused with the funicle. The body of ovule is uh, fused with the funicle at the Hilem, Hilem, right? Is direct, 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 direct one. The page number twenty-five, and one fifty-seven again from biotechnology first chapter, and uh, the specific palindromic sequence which recognizes E C O R one that is isolated from Escherichia coli by Bolivar and uh, Rodriguez, and uh, it is uh, the G A A T T C G A A T T C uh, the palindromic sequence. So the answer is one. Answer is one. One fifty-eight. That's the only one question that is asked in the from the uh, biological classification. classification. Yeah. And page number twenty-seven. That is the last part of the chapter that explain about viroid. About the following, um, the uh, correct about viroid. I viroid, think that uh, it is discovered by T. O. Diner. T. O. Diner yeah. in nineteen seventy-one, and it causes the uh, potato spindle tuber disease. And they have RNA with the protein code. No. They have free RNA yeah, without, without protein code. That yeah. is the correct statement. They are free RNA without with a low protein. molecular weight. Yeah. There is no protein code. So the answer is second one. And one fifty nine again from the sexual reproduction flowering plant, and it's the exact line uh, in the page number twenty five related to twenty nine. No, sir. Uh, sorry, twenty five. Page number twenty nine. No. 
29 yeah okay uh, 20, uh, and uh, related to the hydrophily hydrophily and that explain uh, the water hyacinth and water lily pollination takes place through insect or water it is the insect or uh, wind not water that's the exact line in the ncr textbook and insect or wind not with uh, it, it is related to uh, water pollination water pollination is explaining in the valisneria and the zostera or zegras and next is the exact part of the anatomy from the uh, uh, the from the page number uh, from the page number 93, 93 of the first year chapter and uh, it is the transverse section of the plant that shows the anatomical features which one that is large number of scattered vascular bundles surrounded by bundle sheath only one scattered vascular bundle you can see in the anatomical that is monocostum no need to go anyway we will go through large conspicuous parenchymatous ground tissue vascular bundles are conjoined and closed because the cambium is absent phloem parenchyma is absent all the statements are taken from the same paragraph related to monocotyledonous stem the page number 93 so the answer is monocotyledonous stem monocotyledonous stem so next question is asked from biomolecules or we can tell from that chapter molecular basis of inheritance it is correlate both uh, yeah so uh, it is uh, it is from the uh, molecular, molecular base of inheritance base of that is uh, when uh, there is explaining the salient, salient feature, feature of, of uh, uh, dna, DNA double, helix, double, helix double helix which of the following statement is correct adenine pairs with thiamine through two hydrogen two, two hydrogen bond. Bond. that's the right answer right right hydrogen that is adenine pairs with uh, uh, thiamine by 2 hydrogen bond, guanine with the cytosine by 3 hydrogen, three hydrogen bond. So, here the right answer itself, yeah. first one. That's a simple question. That is Adenine from page number 97 of NCRT textbook. Okay. Next question, select the correct statement. Glucocorticoid stimulate gluconeogenesis. Glucagon is associated with the hypoglycemia. Insulin acts on pancreatic cells and adipocytes. Insulin is associated with the hyperglycemia. Actually, this question is taken from the chapter, chemical coordination and integration from the adrenal gland so the right answer is glucocorticoid stimulate the gluconeogenesis and page number 335 335 the exact line of last the uh, topic in the chapter of human physiology that's the last part of the textbook Text. no 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 uh, it's actually uh, uh, then, then, yeah, then, then, then there's some non-endocrine uh, 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 hormones uh, are also there and also the action of the uh, uh, hormones. Chemical, okay. mechanic mechanism, mechanism of, action of, action of action yeah next one uh, match the column, match the following column and select the correct option. It is came from the chapter that is uh, Animal Kingdom. Gregorius or Polyphagus Pest, Locusta. Locusta, it is okay. uh, last time, last so, month, uh, it is uh, present in the North India. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Locust, it is become a uh, most uh, trouble in the India when the, uh, the pandemic uh, COVID is also started at the same time. It is came from Iran and Afghanistan. It is a make a big problem I in the North India. I think that it will region. become a, a bloom. Yeah, exactly. bloom. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Gregorius, that is Gregorius Locusta. Locusta. So only so one, one option. Uh, Gregorius Pest Locusta. Locusta. A4. A4. So, A4. answer uh, 2. Uh, Gregorius Pest Locusta. Answer, answer 2. Second one. Second option. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Second yeah. option. Is Second option, correct. So okay, then adult with the uh, radial symmetry Tickets, and... Uh, okay, adult yes. with the radial symmetry and arrow with the bilateral symmetry is with the... Uh, uh, that is... Uh, Echinodermata. Echinodermata. So here the option. Ascariasis. Ascarias. Uh, sorry, Asteria. Starfish. Starfish. Yeah. Then book lengths. Uh, it is for scorpion. And uh, bioluminescence that emit light. Uh, tinophora. Tinophora. Okay. So the option uh, 2 is the right answer. 2 is the right answer. Next one the chapter. Uh, this question is also match the following match the following columns and select the correct option. This is asked from the chapter body fluids and uh, circulation. Under body fluids and circulation, the page number 279, it is written that eosinophils, eosinophils release granules containing histamine. Okay, so the A option is fourth one, sir. So A, A, A4. Yeah. A4 is with only one option. One option. Then, A4, A4, then basophils. Yeah, basophil with A, the... A, A4 is only one. Ah, so, so second, second option. Second option is the correct answer. Yeah. Then, next one, 165. Question number 165. Uh, the head if the head of cockroach is removed it may live for few days because the supra esophageal ganglia of the cockroach are situated in the ventral part of the abdomen it's not right the cockroach does not have a nervous system cockroach have nervous system which is represented as uh, ganglia there are total nine ganglia are there three in the thorax and six in the abdomen neurons from the ganglia supply throughout the body with head holding just a bit of nervous system we have seen that that uh, 
uh, that uh, part in uh, structural organization animal in 114 the right answer is the head hold a small portion of a nervous system while the rest is situated along the ventral part of its body it's a exact point taken from the page number 114 in structural organization in animals next one next question yeah. that is coming from uh, molecular base of inheritance genetics second one that is 166 question yeah the name of enzyme that facilitate the opening of dna helix during transcription that is rna polymerase rna polymerase transcription right rna polymerase for us rna polymerase next one flippers of penguin and dolphins are examples of this are uh, related with the chapter uh, evolution okay in evolution we had seen that uh, comparative anatomy and morphology the same example. okay so here it is uh, uh, that is convergent evolution page number 131 of ncert text ah, page, page number 131 the same example is given in the uh, the first paragraph flippers of penguin and uh, uh, dolphins are the examples of convergent evolution okay that is uh, based on adapt that is uh, uh here it is the uh, flippers of penguin and dolphin convergent evolution convergent evolution okay which one of the following level is causes the release of the ovum ovulation from the gaffian follicle yes sir ah uh, so actually they uh, uh given here uh, which of the following hormone level will cause release of ovum from the gaffian follicle actually we know that because of increased level of lh stimulate ovulation but the, here there is no option for that instead there is given that at the time of ovulation the estrogen level will be there much more the, there is, there the graph is the, the, yeah this type of graph graph is yeah, there, yeah. yeah. here it is given yeah. the same like in page yeah. numbers are 50 yeah 50. page number 50 150 yes 50 okay so the answer is so the answer is sorry the answer is uh, high, high concentration, concentration of estrogen. estrogen high concentration of estrogen the, the graph if, uh, exactly from the graph they have asked us and 169 169 uh, if the distance between two constitute pair of 0.3 nanometer of total number of base pair of dna helix in the uh, typical mammalian cell and uh, 6.6 uh, uh, into 10 to the power of 9 base pair the length of dna is approximately about that is the exact line of the paragraph that starts with uh, uh, the nucleosome and histone proteins are produced a packaging of dna that's the heading of that part the page number 99, 99. of that chapter and uh, it is 2.2 meter 2.2 meter 2.2 meter is the right answer and 170th question it is from human reproduction uh, from human reproduction here the it's a match and type question that is uh, placenta placenta uh, we know that placenta produce a hormone called uh, HCG human chorionic gonadotropin it acts as an it acts as an endocrine tissue so they produce an hormone known as HCG human chorionic gonadotropin so so ye uh, that a is two, the, two. A, a two, two only one option. one option only one so that's the right answer the fourth one next one this asked from uh, chapter cyclosporin yeah yeah so here there's asked one question that is uh, from uh, from uh, micro micro human, human, human welfare okay clostridium the yeah. clostridium butylicum okay they are obtained from the they the produce butyric acid trichoderma polysporum it's a fungus then uh, they uh, act as cyclosporin a then monascus purpureus then that is below the lower the blood cholesterol yeah. and at last aspergillus nigra clostridium botulicum that is producing uh, butyric acid that's so a2 or a2 is with the only one option so the answer is uh, second second one second option answer is second and it is exactly coming from the page, page number, number 183, 183 of 183. the uh, microbes in human welfare the chapter next one 172 172 goblet cells of elementary canal are modified from it is asked from the chapter structural organization in animals and the tissue part okay that's uh, actually columnar epithelium we know that the goblet cell it is a gland unicellular gland glands are the modified that produces uh, mucus uh, cuboid yeah cuboid uh, it's actually goblet cell that secrete mucus goblet cells uh, they are made up of either their columnar or cuboid here the option is columnar is there So uh, the okay, answer so that's the exact line that is given in the CRT that is 102 102 page number 102 okay next one experimental verification of chromosomal theory of inheritance was done by mendel sutton bovary morgan th morgan th morgan uh, th morgan conducted experiment yeah. in uh, drosophila melanogaster drosophila melanogaster and uh, that is fruit fly 
the process of uh, responsible for the facilitating the loss of water in liquid form the tip of the grass blade at the night in the early morning is due to root pressure that is guttation and it, it is related to the chapter it came from the chapter transpi- transport in plants page number 186 it explain about the transpiration and root pressure so the answer is uh, true uh, that is second option root pressure so through the root pressure through the hydrothode the water will be oozed out the dew drops will ooze out from the uh, grass like plants and uh, herbaceous plants so the answer is root pressure next one it is also coming from the biomolecule biomolecule, biomolecule. And uh, the page number 148 149, 149 and uh, 151. 151 151 is integrated uh, and here identify the substances having glycosidic bonds and peptide bond respectively respectively so glycosidic bond is the bond between two glucose molecules glucose or a two uh, monosaccharide molecule two yeah. monosaccharide molecule not only glucose two monosaccharide so it is present in the uh, disaccharide or trisaccharide that is oligosaccharide or polysaccharide here the oligos polysaccharide that is one is uh, the first one that is chitin is a polysaccharide nitrogen containing polysaccharide uh, the monomer is n glucosamine uh, glycerol is glycerol not, is not, not a polysaccharide so, so you can undertake a second one cellulose is also so a polysaccharide, polysaccharide of uh, with uh, glycosidic bond uh, glycosidic bond uh, and, uh, and uh, inulin also inulin is also the uh, polysaccharide of fructose that is mentioned in the page number uh, 148 yeah and then the, the one peptide, peptide bond, bond peptide bond Probably. that is uh, cholesterol not a peptide bond peptide bond is between two uh, amino acids amino yes acids. two amino acids there is co and h bond uh, due to the for, uh, elimination of water that is for, produced and trypsin is an uh, trypsin it is a protein, uh, protein but, but uh, glycerol is not. is not that lecithin is not a uh, uh, protein and uh, insulin, insulin is the example so inulin with insulin, insulin not insulin, uh, insulin. insulin is insulin present insulin. in the uh, storage material it is a uh, uh, fructose polysaccharide present in the dahlia tuber dahlia tuber so the answer is fourth one inulin insulin in. and uh, 176 that is from the chapter uh, organism and population o- organism and population and uh, page number uh, 227 of ncrt it is related which of the following is not an attribute of population that is sex ratio is a attribute the ex- explain the heading uh, population attribute is there in the page number 227 and uh, sex ratio uh, natality mortality species interaction it is not a uh, population uh, population attribute so the answer is fourth one species interaction is it sir yeah and 177 yeah 177 the enzyme enterokinase helps in conversion of it's actually uh, the question is asked from the chapter uh, digestion and absorption enterokinase the enzyme that is produced by the intestinal wall of small intestine what's the action of it is they convert the trypsinogen which is an inactive enzyme produced by the pancreatic juice into active one trypsin so the right answer second one trypsinogen into trypsin they are taken from the Page number two sixty two of NCRT first year. NCRT first year. Okay. okay. Next, Next is that is coming from the chapter cell cycle and cell division related to G zero phase and some cell divide uh, dividing cell exit the cell cycle that is we know that the heart cells or nerve cells and enter in a uh, vegetative inactive stage that is metabolically active but they uh, proliferate to go uh, further and they will be divided very rarely uh, for repair of the damaged tissue and this is called as Q-sen stage due to low mutagen. Uh, uh that is uh, mitogen not mutagen mitogen and this process is uh, occur at the end of m phase m phase m phase so that is from the chapter uh, cell uh, cycle and cell division cell cycle page, page number 164 164, 164 of the ncrt page, page number the paragraph that is related to q cell stage and 179 179 in relation to a uh, gross primary productivity gpp and npp that is net primary productivity of an ecosystem Uh, which of the following statement is correct related to the chapter ecosystem and productivity the function of uh, the functions of ecosystem which is correct gross primary productivity is always less than net primary productivity no gross primary productivity is the total rate of photosynthesis 
occur at a uh, particular space at a particular time and from that uh, the uh, r is reduced so from the gpp r is reduced the respiratory uh, uh, respiratory rate is reduced we will get npp net primary pressure so this is always greater this is lesser from uh, the gpp npp is available and npp is the available productivity uh, primary productivity to the herbivores and the decomposers the last line of that paragraph so gross primary productivity is always more than net primary productivity so the answer is second option second option is the right answer page number 1243 of the uh, uh, the ecosystem okay so coming to the last question of this uh, that is uh, this uh, examination which of the following is put into anaerobic sludge digester for further sewage treatment option a primary sludge option 2 that is floating debris three effluents of primary treatment and last one activated sludge and uh, the, which of the following is put into anaerobic sludge digestion that is activated sludge secondary treatment under secondary treatment in that is microbes in human welfare okay the, there is a uh, here activated sludge is the right answer okay so with this we had completed our discussion so this discussion i think it is very useful for all of you and uh, when we are concerning about the biology question paper it is uh, we can say that uh, more th uh, about 100 percentage that about is from ncr yeah. text more or less that is 100 percent because only one question that is a for uh, the related to evolution and also the question related to uh, photosynthesis it is just outside it is not outside it is just outside from the ncr but all the questions are the exact uh, uh, lines and statements and examples that is mentioned in CRT textbook. So uh, the students who is watching the video and for preparing for the next year, uh, they must be consider the NCRT on. textbook uh, at all for the preparation. Not go for the uh, any other examples and also the uh, big statements from the guides or everything that Please will be uh, the, uh, that, uh, that will misguide you, misguide you because you are losing the time and also uh, the question paper is very fruitful and uh, uh, normally uh, you have got enough time for the preparation and also it is uh, uh, correctly. Uh, answered in the OMR sheet. So anyway, it is a good question paper and uh, thanks um, NTA because for providing this type of question paper in the period of a, a world pandemic like uh, COVID-19 uh, and uh, Corona disease because we are all are scared about the disease and spreading of the disease. So uh, uh, we are welcome all the suggestion related to this video and uh, we are welcome uh, all the support from you uh, for the uh, your encouragement and it is always welcome and uh, suggestions and uh, visit our site and also visit our app that is bright learning app uh, as well and as, as well as learning. Uh, target learning app and when we are going through the different question paper that will be uh, we will be published on the site and also in the YouTube that is and uh, in our app we are providing the bright learning app for all over the world in the especially in the Middle East students and uh, target learning app we are providing the students in the uh, uh, Kerala based student that is in the English medium and also Malayalam medium from the 10th standard onwards and uh, next year onwards we are uh, starting from the 8th standard also and uh, we are uh, uh, planning an online session for the repeated batch also. So this session, this online session uh, is very useful for you about the uh, doubts and uh, problems about the biology question paper and uh, more than above more than 50 percentage of questions are easy and around 45 percentage questions are uh, average questions somewhat uh, tricky question and only five percentage or six percentage questions are very 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 uh, uh, difficult level difficult level questions like uh, two types of generation like the type of questions and so uh, uh, thank you all uh, watching us and uh, uh, we are expecting all the support from you all the viewers and uh, thank you uh, good night thank you bye